Trail of Tears. I don't know. I have, I'm done giving a fuck about the, United, uh, the Amer- Native Americans. Uh, Native Americans in the United States. Uh, close down all the reservations, get them back you know, integrated into the United States, end all privileges for Native Americans, and tell them to get over the fact that they were you know, taken advantage of. Who cares? Vietnam War, we should have won it. We lost it because of the Democrats. White supremacy. I do not believe in white supremacy. I do believe that uh, European culture is supreme. You can adopt the European culture and join us in our supremacy. It's not about the circumstances of our birth that makes us supreme, you know, supreme over others. It's the culture. It just so happens that the people who are white created a culture that is sup- supreme over others. Women's rights and feminism, there, there is no such thing as a right that w- uh, one specific group has that is not shared by other groups. If, it, if you have anything that has a modifier in front of right, rights, chances are it's not a right, it's a privilege. Um, feminism is an evil ideology these days. Panama Canal, we should have kept uh, control over it. And um, was it Carter that gave it away? Fuck Carter. Puerto Rico should be an annex, should be made into a state. They don't want to be a state, though. It's been put up for a vote there like three times. You want to complain about some slavery? You want to complain? Uh, you know, it, to a certain, it, it looked at a certain way. You could actually say that the the progeny, the the descendants of American slaves, have it better than they would have had it had we left those slaves in Africa to live in their tribal, backwards Stone Age existence. Kanye West would be, you know, flinging his own shit. You know, wearing a you know freaking loincloth and sh- chucking a spear somewhere in the Congo right now, if it wasn't for his ancestors being brought here. So you know, to a certain extent, I think a lot of American black people need to have some fucking appreciation for the fact that they, because their ancestors were enslaved, they get to live in America. Anti-Muslim violence in India, good for them. Muslims need to be killed. Um, they are a parasitic, pernicious virus on the face of the planet. They are a blight that needs to be t- just destroyed. Uh, atheism, great. You don't believe in God, but what do you believe in? Okay, fine. You've rejected the God of the Bible. Have you replaced it with the God of government? If so, you're actually worse to me than most theists, because at least, you know, uh, the theist will leave me alone when I say, hey, I don't believe. Most of them will. But the, uh, the liberal leftists that, you know, hey, I'm an atheist, but I believe in progressive liberalism, oh great, so you're going to force me to pay higher tax rate because I'm more successful than other people. Great. That actually impacts my life. Fuck off. You know? Christophobia, I think a lot of atheists have Christophobia. And so it's funny how like a lot of atheists are anti-Christian but pro-Muslim. Isn't that weird? Islamophobia is not a thing. Islam is evil. It's, Islam is a sociopolitical uh, ideology that needs to be destroyed. It is not a religion. Um, and you know, as far as like the freedom of religion in the United States goes, the absolute freedom of religion, I think, is one of the big mistakes that the uh, Founding Fathers made. Because marriage is between a man and a woman in a religious ceremony. Occupy Wall Street. Uh, fucking idiots that know, know nothing about economics, complaining about shit that they have no idea about. And um, you know, basically it was a... We're not satisfied with the way our lives are turning out. We found an easy scapegoat for it, so we're going to camp out here and make a big nuisance of ourselves and shit. Yeah, fuck those guys. Uh, Mexico, economic and political systems. Honestly, like I said before, we need to just invade fucking Mexico and take Mexico as a United States territory. If they're going to be sending their people here illegally anyway, we might as well just take it as a territory make them all citizens and impose our will upon them, you know? They should not be allowed to invade us and, uh, you know, destroy us economically by having a lot of, a lot of their citizens living here part-time, taking our welfare money from, you know, the government rolls, their government dole. We should not be allowing that. Either deport them or, you know, what? say, fine, you want to be a citizen? We're going to make you a citizen. We're going to make you, force you to be a citizen of the United States because, you know what, hey, your home country, Mexico, now a United States territory. Now you're a citizen of the United States. Pay taxes, bitch. Get off the government rolls. Be be fully under the under the law of the United States. Gentrification, don't care, is no such thing as a hate crime. Healthcare reform in the United States. Um, 
Healthcare is not a right, it is a service. Healthcare is not a right, it is a privilege. Healthcare is something that you, you ask somebody else to do for you, and they need to be compensated for that time, skill, etc. Um, and you need to be the one compensating for them for that. Healthcare is a prov provided service that is something that nobody has a right to. Nobody has a right to be healthy in the United States. You don't have a right to be healthy. The, the fact of the matter is, the, the, the reason people are unhealthy in the United States, by and large, most of the time, is through their own choices. And even if it's not through their own choices, even if it's a genetic defect, is it the fault of the other people that, such that you can demand or extract wealth from them in order to uh, make allow you to live? No, it's not. Sorry, too bad, so sad. You just got dealt a bad hand in life. Play the hand you're dealt. Don't ask for cards from other people's hands. Healthcare, you know, is not a right. The United Nations, right over here, uh, needs to be disbanded. We need to defund it. We need to kick the United Nations out of the United States. The Korean War, you know, and maybe I'm a warmonger, but you know, there's a lot of shit that we just we, we've been so pussyfooting around with this shit for so long. Korea, South Korea, North Korea. You know, you know what? You want a humanitarian effort? If you are a true humanitarian, you should be for ending the Korean War by going in and taking over North Korea. Helping South Korea go in and take North Korea out. And no, you know, and I tell you what, all these people, these Black Lives Matter people, all these people who are all like, you know, all about, you know, uh, ending human suffering, they don't fucking care about the North Koreans. And what does that say about them? It's very, they're very selective in who they care about and what, what counts as a human being. Those fucking racists. They don't care about those Koreans because they're yellow people, right? Hmm? Hmm? Scientology is a cult. It is not a religion. Scientology is not even, like, remotely a religion. Feminism is a religion. Transgenderism is a mental disorder. We should not be catering to mental disorders by, by um, playing into the delusion. We should not be allowing the delusion to be made more real. Doing so is harmful, I believe. So, um, <clears throat> gender reassignment surgery is harmful. We need to stop doing it and we need to stop uh, catering to these people who believe that they are the other gender. No, you're not. No, you are not. You don't tell someone who's schizophrenic, who's schizophrenic that yes, the CIA is actually talking to them through the implants in their brains. You don't tell them that. That's, you know, reinforcing the delusion, and that's harmful, and that's abusive, and that's wrong. <laughs> Deepwater Horizon, oh, I remember this one in 2010. Yeah, oh, I remember making videos about this, getting back to the whole purpose of this whole uh, stream. I remember this guy, he's all like, the Gulf of Mexico is dead. The entire Gulf is poisoned. We have thrust our gigantic male penises into the deep depths of the, of the ocean. And never mind, it's a gulf, not an ocean. And now the earth is bleeding, and the oh, the gulf is dead. And you know, I zoomed in on the satellite view of it, and I'm like, this is the gulf. This is the spill. Look at how how big that is compared to you know. Anyway, and uh, yeah, and what's funny is nature cleans itself too. A couple of years later, like all of the shrimp were back, and. You know, all of the, you know, the fishing was back and everything, all the beaches were clean and everything was fine because oil is part of nature and, you know, like crude oil is just, you know, it, it sorts itself out. Deforestation versus logging. Um, yeah. Deforestation, you know, there's actually more forests in the United States than there was when we first colonized the place. What I believe now is... Um, uh, as a result of my time on YouTube. But now it's come to, it's time to bring it to an end. And the main reason it's time to bring it to an end, I think I've learned all I can learn from YouTube and it's gotten to the point where there's no, there's no good content on here that's going to challenge me to change what I believe. I've solidified my beliefs.